Sometimes you'll run into a little reverb, kind of like I have going on here, and you want to remove it. Maybe you tried voice isolation, maybe you tried Waves Clarity VX. It didn't work as good as you hoped, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Waves D Reverb to help get rid of the reverb you're hearing right now. And if I turn it on now, now you're hearing that effect applied on my dialogue track. It's cutting out all the reverb that's in my garage here. Oh, by the way, a little paint project going on over here. A little spray booth I built in my garage. Pretty sweet, right? But we're going to talk about D-Reverb today, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use. Literally, it's one dial. That's all you need to do. Turn it up as much as you need it, and you're good to go. So let's jump in Resolve, show you how to use Waves D-Reverb. Let's go. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and we have a few different ways that we can use the D-Reverb plugin. The first way that I'm going to show you is on an entire track here in Fairlight. So right now, I'm in the Edit tab, and let's jump over into Fairlight, Musical Notes at the bottom. Now, I have part of my audio right here in a track for the original audio that you heard in the beginning intro there. And then the second track here, we have D-Reverb. So in order to apply the D-Reverb to our track, make sure your mixer's open at the top. You want to come to the track that has your audio, which you want to apply the D reverb to. In this case, my D reverb track number two, you want to come to your effects section right here. We're going to click on the plus, come down to restoration. And right here at the top, we have Clarity VX D reverb. So I have both the pro and the standard version. We're going to go with the standard version right now. So just click on that and it's going to apply the effect onto our entire track. Now I like to use this because I don't have to worry about of putting the effect on specific clips if I decide to change anything. So I think a track level is the way to go for this particular effect. So the effect here is pretty simple. You do have a few presets here that you can use if you want to try one of them. But essentially, the only thing you really need to know is grab this dial, click hold and drag it up to increase it, drag it down to decrease it. That's the gist of the whole effect. Everything happens behind the scenes for you. Now you do have a few other options where you can change how the effect is applied onto your track or clip. So if you look on the left-hand side here, you can reset your neural network, which is just the AI that is doing the reverb removal. Below that, you've got a few different methods here. If I click the drop down, you can see we have dialogue one, dialogue two, and singing. And it, to know what they are, you just hover your cursor over top of it. And at the bottom of the effect window, it's gonna tell you what it is. So dialogue one for speech and spoken voice, keeps ambience and background noises. If we go to two for speech and spoken voice, keeps ambient and background noises. And then we have singing, which is best for sung vocals and solo vocalists. So I'm gonna leave it on dialogue one and see how that does. We have our analysis and width and single slash stereo is the default setting here, but you do have a few other options here. And again, if you hover over it, it's gonna tell you exactly what they are gonna do. I'm gonna leave everything at the default settings for right now. And below that we have presence, and this is used as it says here on the bottom of the effect to restore vocal presence, larger values than 50, enhance the high end of your audio. To get started, we're just gonna leave it all at its default settings. And all I'm gonna do is grab this big dial and bring it up to a point where I think it removes enough of the reverb. And you don't always need 100% of the effect. So let's go ahead and play through our clip. I'm gonna bring up the G reverb, see how it does. Now you're hearing that effect applied on my dialogue track. It's cutting out all the reverb that's in my garage here. Oh, by the way, a little paint project going on over here. A little spray booth I built in my garage. Pretty sweet, right? But we're going to talk about D-Reverb today, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use. Literally, it's one dial. That's all you need to do. Turn it up as much as you need it, and you're good to go. So let's jump in Resolve, show you how to use Waves D-Reverb. Let's go. So not too bad, even somewhere around 50%, I think does a pretty good job of cleaning that up. Now we can try some other settings. Let me just try the presence setting there and see how that works. Now you're hearing that effect applied on my dialogue track. It's cutting out all the reverb that's in my garage here. Oh, by the way, a little paint project going on over here. A little spray booth I built in my garage. Pretty sweet, right? So you can play with that presence slider there if you want. Now, if you think that this might not be doing the best job, we can jump in here and try dialogue two and play through it, and let's just see if that makes a difference real quick at, you know, about 50% here. Now you're hearing that effect applied on my dialogue track. It's And if you want to reset the effect so that the AI kind of starts over here, you could just hit this little uh, icon at the top here that's going to reset uh, the AI for the neural network, as they call it. Cutting out all the reverb that's in my garage here. Oh, by the way, a little paint project going on over here. A little spray booth I built in my garage. Pretty sweet, right? So I think in this case, actually the dialogue number two there, I think that does a better job than the dialogue number one. So this effect is super easy. It works really well, and it does work a little bit different than either the Clarity VX or the voice isolation. 
because reverb kind of reacts with the voice a little bit differently than things like background noise, which is what those other two effects are good at removing. If you've got reverb in your videos, D-Reverb is going to do a great job at reducing it and pulling out that reverb so that way your video just sounds better. And maybe we'll do a little comparison of voice isolation, Clarity VX, and then the D-Reverb here in a future video, just so you guys can see the difference of how they all work. If you're interested in checking out the D-Reverb plugin, link in the description below, you can go over and check that out. So if you're not sure how to get the plugin installed on your machine, you need to go over to the Waves website, download Waves Central, and that will allow you to install any of the plugins that you've purchased through the Waves website. You're going to follow the instructions. It's going to install the plugin for you. And typically, when you reload Resolve, it's going to scan through your system and look for those extra VST plugins that it can load up into Fairlight or into your audio effects. Now, if it doesn't do that automatically, let me show you where to find that really quick. So in Resolve here, go to DaVinci Resolve, go to Preferences, go to System at the top, come down to audio plugins and right here you can add in a directory of where those plugins are and you can see I have all the waves ones plugged in here they load up whenever I install new ones they automatically load up and appear here in DaVinci Resolve you can enable or disable them if you want but right up here is where you're going to want to put in the path of where those are installed and I'm on a Mac you can see where mine go right here so I do use a lot of waves plugins they are very good I enjoy using them most of them are pretty simple to use they come with good instructions and guys, I'm just trying to give you guys more information, more tools in your tool belt. And if it's something that you need, go ahead and check it out. If you don't need it, hey, that's all right too. But at least you know what's available to you out there in case you come across a problem and you're like, hey, how am I going to fix my reverb? Hey, let me try that D reverb that Jay mentioned. All right, guys, with that said, thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>